Hope you're doing well. It's another beautiful day the Lord has given us. A beautiful sunrise this morning. Sun just coming down through the trees. And I hope he'll bless you today uh, as you go through your day. I want to talk to you briefly here about something you don't hear a lot of talking about lately, even among the church. Um, but I think we all still believe in it. I know I'm looking forward to it. But it says that about the coming of the Lord. And if you look at Matthew chapter 24, verse 36, it says, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. You know, we've heard a lot of talk down through the ages of, by people saying, well, I believe it's going to be this. And people have sat down and tried to dissect the Bible and come up with a timetable of when the Lord is coming back. And, and uh, even some people have made bolder predictions and predicted a day and a year. And we, saw how, we see how that came out. Because the Bible clearly states that no man knows when the Son of Man is coming. Now, he gives us some ideas. He gives us some warnings and some signs to look for. And he tells us again in Matthew chapter 24, verse 44, he says, Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. He says when you begin to see where people are not even believing, people are not even living the life, no concern whatsoever about the end of time, then get ready because it's fixing to happen. And it says here and again in verse 20 in chapter 25, verse 13, it says, "Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming." He talks about the Son of Man coming as a thief in the night, where it says, "If you knew when the thief was coming, you would have protected your place even more." And that's the way the coming of the Lord is going to be. But you know, one of the greatest verses of the Bible to me that that I just draw strength from is found in John chapter 14 when Jesus talks about to me and I mentioned this not too many days ago or weeks ago uh, about the coming of the Lord he said let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions and if it were not so I would have told you so I go to prepare a place for you and if I go to prepare a place for you I will come again so today, many times throughout his word, Jesus has told us, I'm coming back. And I'm going to come back for my church. I'm going to come back for a bride that is robed in white, that is pure, that is unstained from the sins of this world, who are living separate lives away from the world. And so today he's coming, folks. I really, truly believe that he is going to come. And I pray that you know and believe that. And I pray that you've made preparations for whenever that day shall come, you'll be ready to go. Because you see, once it happens, it's over with. There's no more getting right and being ready for the coming of the Lord. And you know what? We need to be ready. We need to wake up every day with expectations that He is, could be coming today. And, and today could be the day. And when we go to bed tonight, let's just say, hey, He may come while I, I'm sleeping in the bed tonight. And then if he wakes up, to, we wake up tomorrow and we're still here, let's look again for Him to come. We need to leave, live every moment of every day of our life prepared for the coming of the Lord. And I pray that you've made those preparations today by accepting Christ into your heart and life as your Lord and Savior. I pray God will bless you today, and I pray that you'll share God with someone today.